Good evening and welcome to a basketball Friday night. 11 high school games to highlight beginning in Columbia at the new QP crib. David Johnson's Hickman boys ranked number six in state. 11 and one heading into tonight's matchup with Quincy Notre Dame from Illinois. Jimmy Witt spins hits the long two later on. It is Witt missing but Mason Murray the quarterback grabs the offensive board sticks it back up and in the visiting Raiders. One of the top teams in their area would answer on the other end. Alex Fitch knocks down the three QND took the 25 23 halftime lead, but the Cubes junk back on top early in the second half. Douglas Johnson, the coach's son, hits from beyond the arc. Our referee of the night, Peyton Matthews, keeping a close eye on things. Johnson again, this time hitting the J inside the arc. Hickman wins it 55 to 50. The Cupies are 12 and one on the season. Back in the Jefferson City area, Blair Oaks hosting the Warsaw Wildcats in Wardsville tonight. Crazy game. Warsaw in the dark green led through the first half. Brad Jelinek, what a nifty move there. Then it's Joey Cooner from two. Warsaw led it 31 to 15 at the half of the Tri-County Conference opener. But all Blair Oaks in the second half. Logan Gratz strong to the basket. Falcons on the move. Hayden locked to Brett Voss. That's a pretty play. Blair Oaks on a 20 to 2 run to start the second half. Voss had nine three pointers. Eight of them in the second half. 31 points for Voss. Blair Oaks ends up winning by 23 73 50. That's a 58 point second half. The Falcons are 8 and 3. A long late night of basketball in Ashland. Four games tonight between Southern Boone and California teams finishing up with the boys varsity showdown. Blake Lammers from Southern Boone knocks down the three in the corner. But oh, California would have some troubles tonight. Sure, Jaden Barr though takes a strong move to the basket, lays it in. Nick Carlos would open things up. The lead and the three. Eagles win it easily 59 to 35 Southern Boone now 9 and 2 on the season California falls to 5 and 5 moving north to Centralia tonight the hometown Panthers hosting Montgomery County this was a close one Panthers jump out early lead Chandler Blackwell feeds Denver Horn takes it to the hoop puts it in later on Austin Kincaid the football standout drives the lane scores Panthers Early touchdown lead, 7-0. The visiting catch, though, finally catch up. Tim Kroll to Cameron Parrish for the basket. But Centralia wins a close one, 51-47 over Montgomery. Girls basketball in Jefferson City tonight. The Lady Jays hosting Notre Dame to Sion from Kansas City. JC in the black and red unis. It was Kaylee Ruff connecting from three. The bank open on Friday night. Megan Foster banks in the three. She had 20 bonus referee of the night. There he is. Dave Carter calls the three and he's playing through injury. Too much Notre Dame. Camille Keene, the freshman launching from three. Lady Jays lose it 66 to 53. Notre Dame will play Helias tomorrow afternoon. Lady Satyrs coach Doug Light in the stands scouting this one tonight. More high school hoops. When we come back, we'll head to Calvary Lutheran for, Lutheran for their tournament. Also a Callaway County showdown in Kingdom City. Stay with us on a basketball Friday night. Welcome back to basketball Friday night. A big Callaway County basketball clash in Kingdom City tonight. The Thunderbirds from north battling the Bulldogs from south. Visiting South Callaway in the blue led through the second half. Garner Rudroff, big night, 22 points. Hits the three from the side. Other side, Dax Helsel. South Callaway up 22 to 18, but North Callaway storms back with a 13-0 run in the second quarter. Vance Allen hits the J for the T-Birds. Justin Murphy, Zach Eats both scoring 17 for North Callaway as the Thunderbirds beat South Callaway 66 to 55. Calvary Lutheran is hosting a high school tournament this weekend in Jefferson City. Boys action at Trinity Lutheran. The host Lions taking on St. Paul. Good night for Bo Munson. Three of his 16 points for the Calvary Lions had four trays. Bradley McLaughlin connects from the on the arc. Calvary in command from start to finish. Win number two for the Lions. 59 to 36 a victory that puts them in the semifinals of the tournament tomorrow. The St. Elizabeth Hornets visiting the capital city for that Calvary tournament opening with the Cole Camp JV Frank Casper from St. Elizabeth posts up makes the hook shot and gets the foul. 
Good passing by the Hornets inside. Travis Miner finds Brent Montier for the layup. South, uh, rather, St. Elizabeth, I should say, wins at 44 to 26. Other boys scores on your Jefferson City High V scoreboard. Iberia off to its best start in school history. 13 and one beats Lakeway. Isaac Menick had 22. St. James off to a perfect 11 and 0 start. The Tigers beat Dixon tonight, 71. To 56 at the Owensville tournament, winners bracket semifinals. Pacific wins Sullivan over Cuba. Bell defeating Bourbon tonight, and Vienna beats Viburnum. 17 points, 11 boards for Connor Backus. Vienna now eight and four. Back to Blair Oaks, Lady Falcon senior Leanne Polovi hit the 1,000 career point milestone last night. Tonight, Polovi and the Falcons in flight against Warsaw. Leanne picking up. Where she left off, starting the game with this, a three-pointer. She had 30 points, six of seven from beyond the arc. Then it's Polovi with the steal and the assist to Amanda Rackers, who lays it in. This was a blowout. 79 to 20, Blair Oaks over the Warsaw ladies. Girls basketball at Southern Boone. The California Lady Pintos facing the Lady Eagles. Another big night for Sydney Deacon. Steele, breakaway, decided not to slam it down. She just lays it in. Deacon can score anywhere on the courts, inside and outside. Rings up the three. Sydney with 30 points to lead the way to a 62 37 win for California over Southern Boone. And from the Calvary Lutheran Girls Tournament, played at Simonson in Jefferson City, the Bell Tigers. Ian White facing Fulton School at St. Albans from St. Louis. Fast break, Macy Kinsey to Kaylee Kinsey. The Kinseys team up for the layup. Lacey Clark behind her back, floats in the shot. Clark at 30 for the Tigers as Bell wins at 48 to 21. Fatima edges past Shamoy, 42 to 40 tonight. Lady Comets led by Morgan Brant's 14 and a last second game winning shot. Meanwhile, Lynn over Eugene, 53 to 40. The Lady Wildcats are seven and four. Melissa Tainan had 20. St. Elizabeth wins over Calvary, 57 to 23 in girls basketball. Back to our high school basketball coverage and the Pizza Hut delivery of the night. Let's go back to Blair Oaks. Hayden Locke feeding Brett Voss. Our Pizza Hut delivery of the night. Blair Oaks delivering a 58 point second half in that win over Warsaw. And that is it for our Basketball Friday night. Thanks for watching. Expanded coverage next week when we'll add Basketball Tuesday nights through the rest of the high school season. That's also uh, the SEC opener for the Tigers when Alabama comes to Columbia next Tuesday. Thanks for watching tonight. We hope that you have a great weekend. KRCG's Basketball Friday Night has been brought to you by River Region Credit Union, Beck Motors, Midwest Block and Brick, DNK Collision and Christensen Construction.